Hello, everyone. Uh, my talk is uh, the webs and the tropical coordinate on the surfaces. So it's a joint work with uh, Daniel Douglas uh, at Yale. So a, a web, a tree web, is a oriented graph on the surface with tree valence interior vertices such that the tree oriented edges at each interior vertex point outward or inward. So uh, the study of tree webs uh, is start from uh, 19th by Kuperberg. Uh, he introduced tree webs, or he called spiders, to study the SL tree environment tensor products of irreducible representations of SL tree. And uh, it uh, fits into so called a pivot dial category. And uh, I, I prefer to uh, avoid these abstract mathematics, but uh, uh, engage into more theoretical uh, things. So here is a picture of uh, tree webs on this R square. So you can see there's only uh, tree valence vertexes in the interior. And uh, all the points, uh, interior vertexes points outward or inward. So you can think of uh, uh, there is a points pointing outward are black vertices and uh, the points point inward are, are wet vertices. So uh, you, you, it's like, uh, you move from one side to the other, you go alternatively the black vertex and the white vertex, vertices. So, uh, so uh, people study so-called networks uh, or spin networks also have uh, this uh, similar stuff. But there are many fields uh, of mathematics uh, relevant to this kind of picture not only the study of uh, representation theory. Uh, so here is another example of webs on the West puncture torus. Uh, you can think of uh, uh, the punctures are at the corners and you glue the two sides, two opposite sides together and you get a torus and puncture at, the, at these vertices. And uh, you can see there are circles and there are trivalence graphs. So, uh, so Fountain and uh, Kasmir and Kuperberg related the webs to the so-called affine building in geometry, geometric representation theory. So first picture is a, is a web on a disk. And the second picture is the dual graph of this uh, web. And then this dual graph, so-called discoid, is relevant to this affine building. Uh, and another research is a uh, uh, direction is uh, uh, by Fomi and uh, Kolyaski. They investigated the cluster algebra structure of classical rings of neuron of SO3. It's also relevant to the, uh, the work of Cooper, Cooperberg. And then they found basis, basis of webs to parameterize the these tensor environments. And uh, this is an example of uh, Grassmannian 2.4. Uh, and then, uh, it, because it's a graph, you can think of uh, it's a, uh, uh, skin algebra on the surface. So Shikura and Froman studied SEO3 skin algebra uh, on, the, on the surface. These are uh, links or graphs on the surface with some relations. So the one, two, three are the relations. Uh, the, the minus in these relations equal to, means that the, uh, this, uh, term, this term equal to zero and this term also equal to zero. And when you have a two, the third relation, when you have a two curve crossing each other, one on the top of the other, 
then it will resolve into the sum of these two terms it, uh, in this way and in this way. So our approach to study the trail webs is uh, actually inspired uh, by uh, the Falk and the Gonchov uh, duality and the so-called mirror symmetry on the higher tension of space. So uh, without uh, knowing all this abstract word, I, I prefer to use in pictures to show what it means. So firstly, I give you a topological surface, this picture on the bottom. So this is a, a tri-sponsor uh, torus, and the gen genius is uh, the number of these holes, and the, uh, and the, the holes the holes is the number of these uh, circles on the boundary, and uh, uh, when I say it's a topological surface, these holes can be filled by a cusp region. So this cusp region goes to infinity. So uh, these two things are equivalent in sense of topology uh, because we think about uh, continuous uh, motion of these pictures in, uh, in the space. Uh, so we study the, the modular space of uh, the pair of modular spaces uh, uh, with the variation of the representation variety. The representation variety can be think of uh, you have uh, some geometric structure on the surface. You put a matrix on this surface, and uh, and uh, this pair of modular spaces have uh, a duality. It, it uh, means that the ring of regular function of one space has a canonical linear basis mapping class group equivalently parameterized by the tropical points of the dual space. So uh, without knowing this abstract word, there is only one word you see. Uh, it says that the observables of the one space are parameterized by the lattice at the infinity of this dual. So, uh, so without considering the mapping class grouping equivalence, the conjecture is partly so by uh, Gross, Hacking, Kale, and Konsevich, and also by uh, Gongshaw and Shen uh, in, in this case. So uh, what I'm going to present our work is uh, uh, we, we, uh, we follow a beautiful solution uh, Originally by Falk and Gonchov for the simplest case, G equal to PGL2, uh, using certain transversely measured nominations. So uh, for G equal to PGL2, on the surface, you, you just uh, put a hyperbolic matrix, which is, which is a, a negative one curved matrix. So firstly, uh, we, can, we can think uh, the question in your mind is that, uh, uh, in, in the in the in our Earth, it's a sphere. Topologically, it's a sphere. There are many many uh, cusps, these uh, black dots, uh, and these black dots on the Earth. And uh, you want to draw the webs on the Earth, and uh, you can move these uh, webs uh, around smoothly, but you cannot cross these dots. So how many? Uh, are there these webs on Earth? How can we classify all these kind of webs? So this is the question in our mind. So here uh, I give an ideal translation of uh, this model. So here is a false contour sphere, and uh, we only uh, the ideal translation of this uh, false contour sphere is just uh, uh, the arcs uh, connecting these uh, dots. And uh, there is no two curves homotopy to each other. You you cannot move uh, you cannot move uh, uh, smoothly from one curve to the other, uh, connecting to the next dots. Uh, for example, you cannot move from here to to here. And uh, this is ideal translation. And then we flatten the edges. For each edge, we flatten the edge. We flatten it to be uh, two edges. So we actually we double the edges. 
and we, we then we then we have a triangles, ideal triangles in the interior, and then we have a bigons in between the two ideal triangles. And then we put the webs on this uh, on this uh, on on this uh, surface, and uh, we can actually put it in good position with respect to this ideal triangulation. With so how we do that? So when we have this blue blue line represented the web, when we have this kind of picture, because the intersection number of this blue line with this uh, uh, bygone is four, we can move these dots smoothly to here to get intersection number only two. So you will decrease the intersection numbers in this way. And we, actually we can do it so that the intersection number is minimal. And uh, uh, moreover, the good position also means that the restriction of the web to each bygone is, is a ladder. Is, the ladder is uh, something look like this. So we put sine plus or minus on each side of this uh, bygone. And there is a way to connect in, uh, the two sides in a unique way by a single, uh, by, a, by a lighter. And the, moreover, the restriction of the web to each ideal triangle is a, a oriented honeycomb with oriented arcs in the corner. It looks like, looks like the picture below. You have a, a lot of honeycombs uh, in the middle and uh, you have a corner arcs here. And actually, uh, generally you, you have some arcs here and uh, the, the restriction, uh, the, the good position is just the way put edges, this edge into the bygone and then put, push this honeycomb into the triangles. And topologically, we can do that smoothly. So here is a picture in the quadru uh, in a square, how uh, the picture looks like generally. So, so in each triangle is a, a honeycomb with corner arcs, and in the middle is a ladder. And, uh, and the way we, we parameterize this kind of uh, geometry object is by assigning numbers assigning numbers in each ideal triangle. We, for each ideal triangle assign, we assign seven numbers. And the, the way we assign it is by putting, if we have an arc going from here to here, we put one on the left and put two on the right. And if we have a, a junction, uh, a triple vertex in the middle, if it goes in, then we put one on the left and a two on the right, and the middle is three. And if it go out, uh, we put one on the left and two on the right, and middle is three. And then we glue all these numbers together on, on each ideal edge is identical. And uh, actually we assign this uh, web because we can represent this kind of honeycomb by this, uh, by this trivalent vertex, simplified version trivalent vertex with a integer number x in the middle. So if we to go out, we put x equal to the number of intersection numbers of these edges go out with, in, with this edge. Here is three, we have uh, three arrows going this way. And x we put three. If it is goes in, we put minus three. And, uh, we, we count the number of corner arcs, then we get the seven numbers uh, corresponding to these seven numbers. And actually the, 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 assignment, uh, the assignment here is bijection, bijective with this assignment here. So, so next, WS be the space of, of uh, reduced tree webs up to equivalence. Here reduced means that uh, you cannot resolve by uh, the skin relation mentioned before anymore. These webs are the basic ones. 
The other webs are just the, the, need, the combination of these basic webs. And we show that given an ideal triangulation, there is a well-defended bijection from these webs to the uh, to, to a, a polyhedral convex cone. So the polyhedral convex cone uh, is a study uh, very frequently in the uh, computer science in linear programming. So here the example is just uh, 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 a lattice in the polyhedral convex cone sub, subordinary to a family, family of inequalities, so called collision tau inequalities. So uh, so this lattice can be understood is in the tropical point positive real points of A modular space. So actually you, you can think about this WS observer of uh, observables of the modular space. And the CT uh, are the tropical uh, lattice at the infinity of the dual of the modular space. And also this equivalence is very natural in the sense that is mapping class group equivalent. So, so uh, how to de describe these inequalities? We can using the we can use in this rhombus drawing inside the inside the each triangle, and uh, we can uh, put a, a polynomial respect to this rhombus. And then we can we can obtain the collision collision tau inequalities by taking the tropicalization of this function. These are just the, the tropicalization, just the taking the the uh, plus with a minimum and the multiplication with a plus and division with a minus. So to prove uh, the mapping class group recurrence, we're using actually the uh, new unique uh, Herbert basis. Uh, of the lattice in linear programming, such that uh, the, the lattice is, is uh, spanned by any spaces with, with no negative coefficients. So we found, actually we, we found a decomposition of this lattice, uh, of this cone, con poly, uh, convex polyhedral cone with, with 42 sectors uh, so, so, so that each sector is a linear isomorphic, isomorphic to a cut-hung. Each sector corresponding to 12 webs. Thus, we will define the topological type of each sector by these 12 webs. And actually the interior of the sectors are disjoint. And the sectors are separated by core dimension one walls. The topological type of two sectors uh, differ by only one tree webs, if, they, uh, if and only if they sharing a core dimension one wall. So here is a picture, picture for uh, the reason why there are exactly 14 two sectors. Uh, we don't know uh, the deep reason why 14 two, but uh, uh, we, we get 142 by uh, computation uh, of these geometric features, respecting these, these geometric features. So actually it's unknown the relation among the web basis and the uh, Gaussian of machine spaces uh, through geometry Sataki and also a uh, gross hacking kill conservation theta function basis uh, there are many further work to do after this. Uh, one thing relating to the uh, application, application mathematics is that uh, maybe it's mostly relating to so-called optimal, optimal transpose. Uh, so you can see the details in, in the archive version of this work. Thank you, that's all.